What's up everyone, Kid is Sean here. So we have some big news for Fate Grand Order JP. As you guys know, this information was supposed to release at Anime Japan 2020, but Anime Japan 2020 got, you know, canceled because of the ongoing coronavirus. But let's go ahead and talk about the information because we got some pretty big news. So Fate Grand Order Apocrypha Inheritance of Glory is coming back and it's going to add in another word into the title, Fate Grand Order Apocrypha Inheritance of Glory Triumphal. So so um, Zeke is of course coming back as a welfare character. This event will be going from uh, March 25th to April 8th. So a pretty long uh, period of time. And um, yeah, basically same story, a little bit different apparently. Uh, they added some stuff to the story, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, so it's not boring for those who already played it. But uh, yeah, all the uh, servants that are from the Apocrypha uh, series is coming back um they're all getting rate ups of, in, including um saber Stolfo. uh we'll talk about the gotcha in a bit but uh same stuff you know gather the items exchange it for uh items uh same ce's will be used from last time as well so uh nothing really special when it comes to like uh, items but um, i mean there's still feathers there's golden tickets all that good stuff but uh, scrolling a little bit more down so the what do you call it? the event system is the same from last time as well uh, one of my favorites like raid battles uh, the drops are really good from these raid battles so I really really recommend uh, doing these uh, you know raid battles and then, of course if you clear the story you get Zeke and you know more copies and stuff like that so uh, it's gonna be separated from you know black side red side and uh, it'll change daily and you know during the time as well and um, yeah it's, it's, it's a really fun event guys I really recommend uh, playing it if you have not done it last time and then of course it's gonna be a pay uh, no, sorry, not paid <laughs> point system as well so um, yeah just grind it out it's um, again really fun um then uh times two bonus exp rate up for uh, zeke so this is you know a normal thing during events so definitely do that and then uh, apocrypha servant and as you can see i'll stop the savers in there as well apocrypha servants will get a uh, attack bonus and uh, uh there's going to be some servants uh, that aren't from apocrypha getting attack bonuses as well like kintoki david etc these are like you know servants that were kind of supposed to be in apocrypha kind of thing but uh yeah black side uh red side and then you know other servants um and then scrolling down a little bit okay again we get the uh, ce's that we get from the gotcha or from the point uh not point yeah point exchange and like shop and stuff like that so uh you need these leaves in order to uh you know ascend uh, zeke so grab those and then if you already have zeke you get rare prism so you know the normal thing again and then this is just a little trailer of zeke because you know they're showing him off and then again all these items that you exchange for you know items in the event shop and then the ce's coming back as well so uh what's also really cool is that mordred is getting her uh her new spiritron dress her uh, casual clothing everyone was waiting for this everyone expected this to come out during this apocrypha uh rerun um apparently this was leaked i didn't know that uh, until uh people were talking it talking about it during the stream so uh yeah mordred uh, is getting her uh casual clothing this is awesome very sexy very nice and um very uh awesome so scrolling down a little bit like like all the time uh you need to exchange items to uh get it and uh the items are actually pretty easy to uh, obtain except for the, i guess the bones out of all of these the bones are probably the only thing that's like oh no but uh other than that they're actually pretty easy items to uh to obtain and then of course we have the trailer of her in the uh, outfit you guys can check that out yourselves and then jack the ripper is getting an animation update uh this is actually something that a lot of you guys have been looking forward to um jack the ripper uh her noble phantasm she goes through a mist now and then she, it's like the city of london so uh it's pretty cool it's something that uh i think a lot of people would really really enjoy so that's really awesome so scrolling down a little bit more uh, we have some ui updates like the sorting system is getting an update um exp you know receiving the basically a lot of the like uh, setting stuff is getting an, a, a huge update but let's go to the uh gotcha real quick 
So um, again, uh, Apocrypha rerun, and uh, that means all the servants from Apocrypha are getting a raid up. That's including Saber Ostolfo, which is actually pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys want uh, him. Um, of course, that means um, Amaxa, Shido, and Semiramis are getting a raid up as well. So uh, that's pretty good. Um, I know a lot of you guys really want Semiramis. I know a lot of you guys want Amaxa Shiro. Personally for me, I don't need Semiramis. I do kind of want Amaxa Shiro, but at the same time, not really. So technically, I'm saving my quartz. I don't have to roll for them. I already have a Stolfo uh, Saber. So yeah, these are the three limited servants. Um, pretty interesting that Stolfo Saber is getting a raid up again, but at the same time, I mean, it makes sense. So Mordred, Achilles, Jack the Ripper, the, the third uh you know all the four star servants are coming all back and then of course the ce's uh i have a bunch of these from last time so i don't have to worry about these so definitely i'm farming i have the motivation to i mean i enjoyed this event a lot last time so definitely get to play um and then yeah it's basically about it for the uh apocrypha side so um let's go and talk about the uh heaven's field campaign so with face day night heaven's field three spring song coming out pretty soon in japan that means we're gonna get a special campaign so um as you guys know um this got canceled here in la or the premiere at least but uh the other screenings got delayed pretty pretty much it you know sucks but um i mean it's what it is coronavirus thing um definitely gonna watch it when uh they uh, officially announce a new date but um for four weeks we'll be able to log in to fade grand order jp and grab us some ce's all these ce's are exp ce's so you know um, nothing special but the arts are really nice we have uh saber lancer and assassin in one ce this is for week one week two shido emia gilgamesh uh caster Shinji and uh, Sensei over there in the back and then we have Sakura, Medusa and uh, we also have uh, Rin and then we have Shiro's arm there as well. All these connect. Um, you, I'm not sure if you guys saw but there was a trailer that revealed a new illustration for Heaven's Field. These all connect so um, yeah def you can probably watch the trailer somewhere online or see it on Twitter or something like that. But then we have uh, Kotomine, Ilya, Zulkin, Assassin, and uh, Hercules, I believe. Wait, wait, am I missing? Oh, Hercules is in this one. Okay, I, she, he like right behind Sakura. I didn't, I didn't see that. But yeah, um, special look at CEs, um, effects. You know, nothing too special, but still, they're they're nice CEs to collect if you are a CE collector. And then we have a new uh, Spiritron dress for Saber, uh, Invisible Air. This is really awesome definitely pick this up if you are a true fate stay night fan and then you can actually see the uh, motion update for the uh spiritual dress and then uh, 2004 uh master dress is coming back as well if you didn't collect it last time this is your chance to get it and then um there's going to be a parvarti special quest so you can do that uh honestly kind of surprised that they're you know bringing this back but uh you can purchase this for a rare prism so uh if you didn't do it last time you can do it again and then the uh, gorgon sisters the twins uh stendo and uriel are getting uh animation updates you can check this out yourselves as well uh this was actually kind of surprising but at the same time it makes sense why they're doing it during during this time because you know it's heaven's field so uh yeah these two are getting animation updates as well so it's also been confirmed that Lost Belt Chapter 5 Olympus is coming out pretty soon. It's going to come out in April 2020. So uh, right now they're doing a little campaign so that everyone that is behind can catch up. If you clear everything Lost Belt all the way up to Lost Belt Chapter 5 Atlantis, you'll be getting a total of 10 quarts. And uh, of course, if you guys didn't see, uh, we reached the... Uh, the um, retweet uh, number so we get uh, you know quartz as well so yay we got a total of 12 quartz uh, earlier so definitely uh, log in to pick that up so all the main quests from up to chapter 3 will get one fourth off AP so chapters 1 through 3 and then chapter 4 and 5 will get half AP um, yeah definitely do this take this time to clear lost belt so that you can catch up and uh, you know get into olympus next month all the free quests will also have half off ap so yeah very excited for olympus uh cannot wait to see what happens and um you know shiro i'm uh, not shiro i'm sorry muramasa most likely gonna appear so uh 
not wait which servants are coming out. So uh, probably all my courts will be rolled here. But we also have a special event that was announced. Uh, we were all expecting this to be announced during the stream because, well, usually they announce the collab at Anime Japan. But um, they did announce it, and it's going to be Fate Requiem. Um, this really surprised me. I did not think that they would announce a collab for this. No one did because uh, there is only one novel, one volume novel out for Fate Requiem. Uh, no one expected this to come out. Um, so what are they gonna do like i read the novel i mean it was interesting it was uh it had it has potential to make a huge uh world but like there's still so many things that uh that needs answers so um i don't know like i, I really cannot expect anything from this event like are they actually going to reveal voyager's name in this uh collab because voyager's name has not been revealed in the novel uh he's still you know we, we still don't know a lot about him um we also have uh, some other servants like kijo koyo we also have galahad alter i'm sure a lot of you guys really want to see him come into the game this might be the best time to bring him in but who knows we don't know but uh yeah there's just so many questions for this event but this event is most likely going to start on golden week which is from april uh you know 26 or i think i think it was the 26th i can't remember but it's late april to early may so um we just have to wait for the event and see what happens but uh, i'll talk about this in another video um, i'll talk about more information on that so uh you know just wait for that but anyways that's basically about it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and um, i'll see you guys in the next one laters